Hey, what's going on guys? What you just saw was a quick mashup of number three social. So you can get a quick vibe check of what's going on there. Number three social is located in Miami, specifically the Wynwood area. They describe it as a rooftop bar that serves craft cocktails and elevated street eats. But what that really means is, you know, they sell stuff like oysters, shrimp, sandwiches, French toast, etc. Overall, it's a chill brunch spot that plays deep house, but it is not a turn up, so keep that in mind. If you have any other suggestions for what restaurants or bars I should review in the Miami or Fort Lauderdale area, feel free to put them down below because I'll be reading all comments. We also have timestamps in the description below, so if you want to jump around and get a certain question answered, feel free to do so. Now, without further ado, let's get into this breakdown. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys how to actually get to number three social because it's not as obvious in Google Maps. So the video that's going to start shortly, I'm going to be starting off at the intersection of Northwest 23rd Street and Northwest Miami Court. All right, so number three socials brunch takes place on Saturday and Sunday from 11.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Just to give you a heads up, they automatically add an 18% service charge and that gets split amongst all the workers who are working at that time. No, you can't get it taken off. Yes, I did ask out of curiosity. So just keep that in mind. If you tip extra on top of that 18%, then that goes directly to your server. So for full transparency, all of this footage is from a Sunday at 1.30 p.m. Now, it could be different on a Saturday at the same time. It could be the same, but just want to keep that in mind moving forward. Now, for this trip, we made a reservation. If you look at the description below, we placed a direct link that you can click on to make a reservation on the company's website. Now, you might be able to get away with not making a reservation if the restaurant's not too busy, but if it is, then you probably got to find somewhere else to eat. I mean, you could try sitting at the bar, but if that's full, then you're just out of gas. I mean, for that reason, I do recommend just making the reservation. It's pretty fast and easy. Now there's two types of reservations. You can make a reservation for a table and you can make a reservation for a couch. If you're making a reservation for a table, you need a minimum of at least two people. And if you're making a reservation for a couch, you need a minimum of at least three people. Now for both of them, meaning both the table and the couch, if you're making a reservation for a party of 10 or more, then they're gonna require a deposit of $5 per person. So getting seated here was a little bit weird. Uh, there wasn't a host podium or anything like that. So I had to go all the way to the back to the bar and I spoke to one of the bartenders and he pointed out who the host was and she came over, checked the reservations and sat us down. We may have a different experience, but just throwing that out there. And then while I'm here, I might as well show you guys where the bathrooms are. I'm not actually gonna go into the bathrooms because that's a little weird and probably illegal. But the girls' bathroom is right here, where I just was. And then the men's bathroom is right here, all the way in the corner to the left of the bar. You're probably wondering if this place does bottomless mimosas. And yeah, they do. Uh, it costs $25 per person and it goes on for 90 minutes. We didn't get it though. Instead, we went with the pitcher of rum punch. And let me tell you why. At least in my experience, when it comes to brunch and bottomless mimosas it either goes really well or really really bad really well in the sense that your server is super attentive and your drink is always going to be topped off and really bad in the sense that the server isn't really that attentive or they're just really busy and they're not going to be able to refill your drink as much so you're not going to get the most bang for your buck i got the picture of rum punch because it costs 55 dollars and two orders of bottomless mimosas would run you 50 bucks. So it was only $5 more for the pitcher of rum punch. And you can pour as much as you want, when you want. So that's why we did it. And you know what? The pitcher tasted fine, honestly. You definitely tasted the alcohol. They didn't water it down. So I got no complaints there. And if I were to go back here again, I'd order it again. I got no problems with it. Now for the food, let me just start out by saying that this isn't really a place to get full. The portions are pretty small, but honestly, that's average for Winwood. Me, I got the Southbound Patty Melt, which is a burger that comes with uh, French fries. And I'll put a picture on the screen shortly. Then my girl, she got the French toast with a side of crispy fingerlings and then a side of bacon. 
now let me say this for the side of bacon <laughs> it costs four bucks but they literally only give you two strips of bacon take that as you will overall i give the service maybe like a b minus just because there was a point in time where a waiter disappeared for an extremely long time but i'm not gonna hold it against him too much you know he's a human being too he was probably on his break can't really hold him over that and to be fair to him uh before he disappeared he did check up on us multiple times and make sure that we were good and now the way me and my girl were carrying on our conversation so no big deal there so i give the service there a b minus for those of you who don't know what deep house is here's a clip of some of the music that they were playing while we were there <laughs> So with that, we're done reviewing the actual restaurant, but let's go ahead and talk about parking. Parking is one of the most important parts of Miami, especially if you're not from here, you don't really know your way around. In my opinion, if you're driving to Wynwood, South Beach, or Brickell, you should already know where you're going to park beforehand. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself driving around in circles, waiting around for some street parking to open up, and we just don't want that for you. Now some people might say, well you know what? I'll just take the bus, I'll take the train, and I'll walk the rest of the way. Let me tell you, this isn't Philly, this isn't New York. You will be waiting at that bus stop for 30 minutes plus. Our transportation system is not great at all. Now on the flip side, you could Uber, and that's actually one of the better ways to get around because you don't have to worry about parking, but at the same time, that can get pricey if you're going to a lot of different places. So what happens is that a lot of tourists, when they come down here, they end up renting a car because it's the best balance between how much you're spending and how fast it takes to travel to a certain place. So with all of that out the way, I got three parking spots for you. They're real close to number three social. For whatever reason, a lot of these parking spots aren't on Google Maps, but you know what? I got you. So let's get into it. All right, so you remember how in the beginning of the video, we were at the intersection of Northwest Miami Court and Northwest 23rd Street? Well, the first parking spot is literally 20 feet to your right. If you're confused, just check the screenshot that's on the screen right now for reference. So when you're driving, you'll come in through this entrance, but then when you're walking, you'll come in through the entrance that I'm about to show you in a few seconds. Just wanted to give you guys a decent view of the parking lot and where you'll be driving to and where you'll be parking your car. Now, for this parking lot, you gotta use the machine. As you can see on screen, it costs $15 for zero to two hours, $20 for zero to three hours, and then $25 for overnight parking with an expiration of 11 a.m. the next morning. And now we're just gonna move on to the second parking spot. It's on the same street as where number three social is. And again, you can park on the side of the road, but a lot of the time it's filled up and there's a lot of foot traffic, so you might not want to park there. Also, do not park here. This parking lot is for the Salvation Army across the street. If you park here, you can get towed or ticketed and just not worth the hassle. But this right here, this is actually the real parking spot. Just a basic garage. Uh, there's no parking machine here you have to use the pay by phone app and it's not open all the time but it was open on the weekend that we went and just keep in mind that this parking garage closes at 3 a.m so you don't want to be out too late and not be able to get your car so now we're just going to head on over to the last parking spot it's actually on the other side of number three social so we entered on the south side the parking spot is going to be on the north side so just go out the north entrance, take a right like how I am in this video, and walk for a little bit, a little bit past the speed racer painting, and it's going to be directly across the street. Now honestly, there isn't much to say about this parking spot. I mean, it's just a regular parking lot. You can just take a look and see how it is for yourself. 
what I will say is that this parking lot is one of the more expensive ones in that it costs $17.25 an hour for parking. So just keep that in mind. I mean, it's an option if you have nowhere else to park or if you're just stretched for time. All right, so that about wraps up my review of number three social in Wynwood. As I said before, all this footage was taken on a Sunday at 1.30 p.m. So take that into consideration. If you have any suggestions on what restaurants or bars or stores in Miami that I should review next, feel free to let me know down below. I will be reading all the comments. If you have any questions or concerns about Miami, you can let me know about that down below too. I got you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And on that note, I'll be signing out. This is Neil Rice. Thanks for watching. Peace.